Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a video which was requested by a viewer. They wanted to see me set up the flight battery telemetry on the pocket radio and do it actually on the screen. So I'm going to do that. Now you have to have a receiver that can um, accept the high voltage and then send that across with the telemetry to your radio. So with most drones that, that facility is available because you're using a flight controller but for fixed wings you might, your receiver must be able to do this. Now I'm not going to go into that. You Normally it would mean there's a, a socket on the receiver itself and you have a red wire and that red wire will plug into the receiver and then go to the main battery uh, voltage, the, uh, the live, the red, and you'll normally solder that in permanently. But I'm not going into that, I'm just going into on this video how we program that onto the radio. Now let's take a look at the radio. If you can see here, I'm going to put uh, in the screen there, you can see I've got an ER8, which you can see the red lead going to it, which is the battery voltage. So let's go and have a look at the radio. All right, if we hit the model key, then we go across, let's go backwards, and we're going to go to telemetry. So you can see the telemetry is coming through there. If I go down, let me keep going down until I can see the RX battery. Well, that normally the receivers will operate on 5 volts. So this is showing us we've got 10 point... 10.8 10.9 volts from the two cell battery that I've got there. So you are looking for that uh, particular sensor. And the way you do that is, let me just see if I can find it without going around the houses. Discover new. You would click discover new, all of the, once your receiver's bound, and then you will see all the different uh, telemetry sensors that you have. Right, so let's get on to the nitty gritty of setting this up. So we are going to go to our, let's go to our logical switches first. And you can see that, I hope you can, I'm going to read this to you. So I've set up logical switch one where it says A is smaller than X. Then we pick up the telemetry sensor, which you can see is there, which is the RX battery. And then we put a voltage in. And that's the voltage it's going to give us an alarm. And I've also, let me edit this, I've set it up to a switch. So when it's armed, it will only do this when it's armed, give you the, the audible warning. So if I go to the voltage V2 and change it, it's going to let me, there you go. And we change that to a higher voltage. Okay, we should. Critical low battery. So I've got to turn the... the so it's telling us we've got a, a problem. So you can test it by doing that. But if we bring it down to what well, we would we would expect, what eight uh, to be safe with this bat this particular battery, I say three point eight five. So that's uh, let's say seven point. We would set that up to about seven volts. So you would pick whichever voltage you want to your battery not to go below, and then you'll set it up at the, that that point. So the switch, because it's armed, it's working. If it wasn't armed, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, go off the warning. So when we're on the ground. Now, if we look at the delay. Now, the reason we put that delay in there, which I hope you can see there, is 0.5. That means if you were using a drone where you punch out sometimes full throttle, the voltage might drop and then come back up sort of instantaneously. This makes sure that you don't get too many false alarms. Now let's go and have a look at that sound that plays when the battery voltage drops too low. So we're going to hit the model key. We're going to go back until we go to our special functions. Oops, I've gone too far. One more. Special functions. Now you can see the switch is logical switch one. So let's just have a look. Log log logical switch one. We play track, then we pick the track we want to play, and then if we put one in there, it means it will only play it once. It won't keep repeating, only if the switch gets activated again. And there we go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.